The vast expanse of the Capedo landscape, dotted with settlements that are near and far between. But at the heart of it, residents live in fear of attacks due to cross-border animosity that centers around Capedo pitting the Turkana against the Pocot. And as if insecurity is not enough, <coughs> malaria has become their next worst enemy, having claimed the lives of 10 people so far. The nearest health facility is 150 kilometers away, making access to healthcare a pipe dream. In response to the distress calls, a team of medics from Baringo County Referral Hospital, accompanied by Baringo Governor Stanley Kiptis and TATA Member of Parliament William Kamket, once they embarked on a journey to the volatile area of TATA, the epicenter of the malaria outbreak. But they had to be escorted by two armored personnel carriers as well as police officers in land cruisers to offer them much needed security. A journey residents of TATA have to make to access health care, notwithstanding bandit attacks. Many never make it this far. News of the coming visitors attracting residents who had traveled kilometers to get the much needed medical attention for a disease that is curable. And there was no mistaking the level of security here. The leaders present called for a beefing up of security in the region to allow the residents to move about without fear of attack. I want to appeal to the national government to come and help us construct that road. It's in a pathetic situation. To access Capedo takes more than two hours, yet the distance can be covered in only 20 minutes. This is a very, very needy part of the country and we'll be moving forward at least to ensure that this nonsense of people dying every year comes to a, a, a complete end. While this was going on, the Ministry of Health in a statement to newsrooms has directed the Turkana County Executive in charge of health to contain the unusual upsurge of malaria attributed to the rains in the county. Joy Kiruki Juma, K24.